Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new in my channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you will be updated for more videos that I am going to upload in my channel. And in this video, I am going to discuss another new topic about properties of parallelogram, which I name it parallelogram property number 5. So let us now start our discussion. Okay. In this video, I am, I am going to discuss about how we are going to solve problems involving properties of parallelogram, especially par parallelogram property number 5. Okay, so let us review first. In the last video that I up uploaded, I have posted their uh, problem about parallelogram property number 4, which stated that the diagonal of a parallelogram bisects each other. Okay, so I have here. Uh, okay, so here is the problem. Home is a parallelogram whose diagonals intersect at Q. If HQ is equal to the quantity of X plus 3 feet, MQ is equal to the quantity of Y plus 11 feet, EQ is equal to X plus 5 quantity feet, and OQ equals the quantity of 7 minus y feet. Find the measure of its diagonal. <clears throat> okay, solution. The first thing that we should do is to draw the figure and identify the relationship between its given. So, this is now the figure based on the problem given. Okay, this is now the figure. In the figure, we observe that HM and EO are diagonals that intersect at Q. So, HQ is congruent to MQ and also EQ is congruent to OQ based on our property number 4 that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Okay? Let us continue. So, since we already stated that HQ is congruent to MQ and EQ is congruent to OQ, we can now solve for X and Y. So, since this EQ and MQ are congruent, then they are equal in measure. And then by substitution, HQ from the given problem is X plus 3. So, we have here X plus 3 equals... <clears throat> MQ is Y plus 11. That's by substitution. And then, uh, we have two variables here that are not the same. So, what we are going to do is to make this equation into a standard form of a linear equation. So, we transpose here Y to the left side of the equal sign becomes minus Y. And also, positive 3 to the right side of the equal sign it becomes negative 3. So, we, we will arrive at x minus y equals 11 minus 3, that's 8. That is our equation number 1 in the form of ex plus by equals c, standard form of a linear equation. And in the other side, eq is congruent to oq. And then we can say that eq is equal to oq. And then by substitution, eq from the given is x plus 5 and oq is 7 minus y. Then again, we are going to make this equation into standard form of a linear equation because we have two variables here that are different. So, we transpose negative y to the left side of the equal sign, it becomes positive y. And also 5 to the right side of the equal sign, it becomes negative 5. So, it will become x plus y equals 7 minus 2, that 7 minus 5 is 2. That is our second equation. So, we have two equa equations here, which are... Uh, linear equation in two variables. So if we are to solve for x and y, we are going to use here, here we, we use elimination method or we can use substitution method. So here we directly add the two equations because uh, negative y and y here can be cancelled out by adding the two equations. So x plus x, that's 2x, negative y plus y, 0, and 8 plus 2 equals 10. So we solve for x here by dividing both sides by 2. So 2 divided 2, that's 1. 
So, x na lang. Equals 10 divided so that's 5. So, x equals 5. Then, solve for y using any of the equations. It's either equation number 1 or equation number 2 to solve for y. So, here we use equation number 2, which x plus y equals 2. So, by substitution, x plus y becomes 5 plus y because x is 5 equals 2. Then, solve for y by transposing 5 to the right side of the equal sign, it becomes negative 5. So, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So, now we already solved the value of x and the value of y. So, since we are asked to find the measure of each diagonals, hm and eo, we can now state that hm, here hm, is equal to hq plus mq. That's segment addition postulate. And also, eo is equal to eq plus oq. And then by substitution, hq is x plus 3 plus mq is y plus 11. And then by another by substitution, we substitute the value of x, which is equal to 5 plus 3 plus the value of y is also negative 3 plus 11. And then by adding these four integers, the result is 16 feet. So therefore, hm is 16 feet. This is our one of the measure of the diagonals. And then on the other side, for EO, another by substitution, EQ is equal to X plus 5. And OQ is equal to 7 minus Y. Then, by substitution, X is equal to 5. So 5 plus 5 plus 7 minus the value of Y is equal to negative 3. So, it becomes minus negative 3. And adding this 4, or simplifying these 4 integers, the result is 20 feet. So, therefore, the measure of each diagonals is 16 feet and 20 feet. Or the measures of the diagonals are 16 feet and 20 feet. Okay. So, this time, let us now introduce about another property of a parallelogram, which I name it parallelogram property number 5. And it states that a diagonal of a parallelogram divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Okay, so let us, let us, let us have an illustration. So, given that parallelogram axis with diagonal AI and is x. So if we consider diagonal AI, AI divides this parallelogram into two congruent uh, triangles. Okay? So <clears throat> here these triangles are AXI, this triangle here. Okay? And is congruent to I triangle ISA. Okay. Okay, for another figure, if we consider diagonal SX, okay, so therefore a uh, triangle XAS is congruent to triangle XIS. So, muna ibot pasabot ni parallelogram property number 5. That diagonals, or each diagonal, divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Okay? Let us continue. So, we are now going to solve problem involving properties of parallelogram, especially parallelogram property number 5. So, we have here an example. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. <clears throat> if measure of B, A, C is equal to X degrees, measure of angle B, C, A is equal to X degrees, and the measure of angle A, D, C is equal to 60 degrees, what is the measure of angle D, A, C? Okay? So, 
let us have our solution here so our solution first is to going to draw the figure okay then identify the given so from the given that angle b a c is equal to x okay this one this angle here and angle b c a is equal to 2x here and angle a d c is equal to 60 and then uh, what is the relationship between angle d a c angle d a c and angle b c a okay they are congruent for what is the reason for what reason okay. the first reason is alternate interior angles are congruent okay why because a d and b c are parallel we consider a c as our transversal so if this is our transversal then alternate interior angles are congruent so therefore we can say that angle d a c this angle here is congruent to angle b c a reason alternate interior angles another reason is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent okay because it is stated that a diagonal divides a parallelogram into two congruent triangles so this triangle here and this triangle here are congruent if these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts are also congruent so angle dac the corresponding angles of angle dac is angle bca so therefore these two angles here are congruent and the corresponding angles of d is angle b corresponding angle of bac is angle dca that that is that is what we call corresponding parts of course of congruent triangles are congruent okay so since these two angles here are congruent then they are equal in measure then by substitution we observe here that angle bca or from the given problem that angle bca is equal to 2x therefore we can say that the measure of angle dac is equal to 2x but we are not done yet because we are solving here first the value of x to find the measure of angle dac how we are going to to solve for x okay now in our last topic or the previous topics that we had is we encountered property of a parallelogram about consecutive angles now uh, angle b or angle a or angle DAB and angle ADC are consecutive angles. Okay? So if they are consecutive angles, then they are supplementary based on our previous property of a parallelogram. If they are supplementary, then the sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So we can say that the measure of angle ADC plus the measure of angle DAB, the whole thing, no? Kanitanan, angle DAB is equal to 180 degrees. By substitution, angle ADC is equal to 60 plus the measure of angle DAB. Here, DAB shared two angles. That's angle um, DAC and angle BAC, which is equal to X and 2X. So if we are into, to add X and 2X, that is the angle DAB. So, angle DAB is x plus 2x equals 180. Then, simplify 60 plus 3x because x plus 2x is 3x equals 180. Solve for x by transposing 60 to the right side of the equal sign. This will become negative 60. And 180 minus 60, that's 120. Solve for x by dividing both sides by 3. So, we arrive x equals 40. Since we are asked for the measure of DAC, and we already know that DAC is equal to 2x. And we also already solved the value of x, which is equal to 40. So by substitution, 2 times 40, that's 80. Therefore, the measure of angle DAC is 80 degrees. Okay. 
for your ass assessment, solve this problem. Mine is a parallelogram. If the measure of angle MEA MEI is equal to x squared degrees, the measure of angle IEN is equal to the quantity of x plus 8 degrees, and the measure of angle INE is equal to 100 degrees, find the measure of angle MIE. Okay? Let's end our discussion for today. And I hope you learned something in my discussion about parallelogram property number 5. Okay, if you are new in my channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you will be updated for more videos in, that I'm going to upload in my channel. Thank you for watching and good day.